Hi there, this is Sheila. Welcome back to the Painted Pig Studio. Now, today, I thought, and, and by the way, if I have not welcomed Beverly McGowan, um, I'm doing it now. <laughs> she is one of our last new subscribers. Now, I will say, if you don't make your subscription public, I will not know that you subscribed. I know I've got more subscribers than there are on the list that it's showing me, and that's what it said, so, um, it gets to the water. If you want to stay, if you want to remain anonymous, that's fine, too. <laughs> All right. So, Monica, congratulations again. She won the uh, giveaway, and in the giveaway was pretty much everything she will need to do a journal. And I happen to know that she's never done one before. So, um, and all I gave her was the front and the back. So she's going to have to build her spine. So, I thought I would try to do that on camera. It's so fiddly. And as we all know, they should have named me Jane. Because I'm a calamity waiting to happen. But, uh, basically, you need a little bit of room what I've done is, this is from an old sketch pad, and it's pretty thick. I checked, and it's about the same thickness as the front and back of the book. And you want roughly that much, see I've already screwed up, distance in between your spine and the... Um, Shoot. Can't, can't talk and chew gum at the same time. Um, you want roughly that amount between your spine and the front and back of the book. I feel like there should be a word for that. I can't think of what it is. Okay, so uh, I will quit mumbling, hopefully. So I'm just going to kind of guess at it. And try to come close. Now, first thing I do is I've got this masking tape. So, this is just going to hold it down. Hold it in place for me, hopefully, if my hands won't mess it up. Just... See how fiddly this is. I knew I shouldn't try to do it on camera. Uh, but I wanted to show Monica as much as possible about how to do this. And I'm sure she won't be moving everything once she gets this thing. <laughs> but, and this is uh, pretty much the way I saw my deacon do it. I follow him on YouTube as well. And he's also got a vlog that I actually watch more than I do his craft videos. And so, over here on this side, I'm just going to, and I hope I'm still in frame, I'm just going to fold this tape over, okay? It doesn't look exactly kosher there, but... Now, I think this will be um, the Betty my next journal. I think this this is a good cover. That's what I was trying to think of. And, um, I've made the spine two inches up there. Explain that. Because I'm going to do, uh, I found that three signatures is a good number for me. And my last journal, The Green with Envy, had three signatures and it was a two inch spine. And it's pretty much Pac-Man. But, um, not too bad. I think the closure will, will take care of that. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can do this side. So that's why I chose a two inch. Because, um, well, because of the other one. And because it's easier, I think, to do. To And I chose three signatures because I think it's easier for me just to measure where to sew them. If it's three, because then there's a middle and one on each side. Got it? That looks good. All right. 
Okay. So, this is your start, Monica. Now, you want to go ahead and pick out the fabric. I thought that would look good to look at back here. Okay. I think this will be covered up and be okay. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. So you want to pick out your fabric. Now you don't have to do fabric. You can use paper. And I have done that. Um, the journal I'm working on right now, as a matter of fact, for the um, Scrapbooking with Me March Challenge, this is paper. And um, I haven't put any book corners on it or anything. And I've lined it with paper. The only thing is that it's a floating spine, which is the first one I've ever done. And so... The spine, the, the, the inside is actually not even attached to the spine of the book. It's attached to a piece of cardboard that is held on by fabric. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> so it's better for you to watch her video than for me to try to explain it. Just trying to raise that light up. I'm afraid it was blinking a little bit. So, um, I'm going to learn one of these days just to set a timer so I won't be panicking. Okay, <clears throat> so, same thing. I'm just going to wrap this masking tape around. Okay, now, I can talk you through the next step. Oops. I don't have it prepared. Uh, hold on one sec. To turn the camera off. Let's see what. Yeah, we're blinking. We just got barred too. So basically, I'm going to take this. It could be pillowcase material, it could be muslin, and I'm just going to cut it slightly wider than I have here. And I'm going to need something a little bit thicker than this. But basically, this one I'm going to have the. Uh, it's going to be a visible binding on the outside. It's not going to be invisible. It's going to be visible. So, and I have saved. Let's see if I've got them. I have saved the uh, top and bottom of the books that I take apart. And um, so I'm going to put that in as well. But, um... I will measure it for the inside to come to the top of the back page and front page. And same down here. And this is just to cover that so that something pretty is visible when you've got it open. Okay? So we'll do that next time and pick out papers, perhaps. So good luck with your project, Monica. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me or email me. Um, and I will do what I can to help, okay? All right, for now, everyone take care, stay well, hugs and kisses until we meet again. Bye-bye. Ha-ha, <laughs> April Fool. <laughs> Actually, this should show, this should come out before then, but <laughs> I, sometimes I just don't play with the full deck. I just realized <clears throat> that I could cut the camera off, replace the batteries, and keep right on going. But, uh, lesson learned. And I'm also going to set the timer. So, I don't know how long the other...
the other um, um, part was but I'm gonna add about 10 minutes I think so okay so what I've done um, in the meantime I went ahead and picked up the fabric and most of the photos I'm gonna be using are are gonna be somewhat like this I can bring the tone up a little bit to match that a little bit better but um, as I was looking around I saw this piece of fabric already cut that I must have intended to make a placemat with from and uh, never did so um, I will cut it down it, 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 the shape will be just like this only it, the uh, it will be much closer to the corners only just a probably an eighth of an inch out from the corners is where this cut will be and then I will leave about an inch a, an inch for me an inch all the way around okay so it'll end up being like that now this part um, you can stick this part down and, and by the way I picked out the fabric I decided on this fabric and it was kind of thin so I went ahead and put some interfacing on it so now it covers that excellently so and I've got it taped down with masking tape because I've got it where I want it now I did not put these <laughs> inside pages on myself but somebody very much like me must have because they're just as crooked as they can be but um, when it's all said and done nobody will see that nobody will see that so this is what the cover will be and I'm gonna have to make sure I've got it oriented properly but it looks like it can go either way and then uh, she will go on the front in some sort of frame after I put uh, doily or lace or whatever uh, and you will not actually be a even though the the binding will be exposed it will be covered over so that was the reason I decided not to try to do an invisible um, spine um, uh, binding because you know I'm gonna cover it up anyway so why make it harder on myself I certainly don't need to do that <laughs> so um, for this part I may use Fabri-Tac or I may use double-sided tape most likely I will use Fabri-Tac so I can get in in here very well I'll use my bone folder to to give that a good press then <clears throat> what I will do is when I've got this cut down to size and I'm sure Monica's familiar with this I've got just about enough to do it too. Oh, excellent. Um, I'll use this heat and bond. And I will iron this to my fabric. This side down. And this is after I've got everything cut to size. And then I will peel this paper off. And so it will be like that. And when I peel off the paper and put an iron to it, it will stick that fabric down to the book cover. Now, I found that for me, that's the best way to do it. Um, you can do it, like I said, a lot of different ways, and I've done it a lot of different ways, but... This was the first time that I didn't have, that there was not a trace of glue seepage because I didn't use glue. So, I like, uh, I, I, I like that, and so I'm going to use it again. Now, some of you may recall the Green with Envy <laughs> journal, which, you know, I'm going to um, revise just a little bit. Put a good closure on it because I decided I didn't like the closure I had on it and then I think it will go in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested it's pretty it's a pretty journal it's got some really pretty things in it 
So, um, but I'll keep you updated on that. So, Monica, this is what you you can do uh, if you choose to. Um, there's also Fabri-Tac, but you you really need to make a thin um, get like a spatula or or something to spread it out thin. Otherwise, it will. I don't see mine at this moment. Uh, otherwise, it, it will seep through your fabric and uh, you will be able to see it. So, um, and then I will tell you this also, as far as your papers. I have gone ahead and um, chosen the papers that I want to use, but I have not dyed them. So, that, this is always the first step for me is to choose my papers and I've got more than what I'm going to need but these are the ones plus a couple of doilies that I will dye watercolor dye now uh, I'm going to add just a bit of sepia um, and still use that yellow ochre but I'm going to add just a bit of sepia to it and because I think most of the photographs will have that sepia tone and um, I will probably go back to the old vintage photo then. So we'll see how everything works out. And Monica, hopefully you'll be crafting along with me and making a journal too. As a matter of fact, I think this is the same fabric I include, included in the giveaway. And uh, so the, this book actually had a very narrow spine that uh, would not have worked. So it needed, and I thought this was an excellent opportunity to show you what you can do to make your spine for your book. And again, that is just cardboard from the back of a sketch pad. And you can get those at the Dollar Tree. If you can't find one thick enough, you can always glue two together. And when you're cutting it, and if you're, you're a quilter, I know, so you're going to be uh, not having any problem with it. But when you go to cut it, just make several light passes rather than trying to cut through it all at once. And I have found that for me, these work better. These work better than a Zacto blade to me. I can just, and I can sharpen them, you know, but if they're not sharp, I can just pop that piece off and have a whole new piece. So... Uh, next time, I will go ahead and um, show you how I do the papers, I think. And I think I've explained the rest of it pretty well. Hopefully, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And um, then I'm going to go back to my old way of using uh, scrapbook paper. Um, and to cover each for each individual signature the first page will be scrapbook paper so it's going to be a little bit more sturdy than than this although some of this is pretty pretty sturdy and this is a more expensive sketch pad and then this is one from the Dollar Tree so the the difference the weight difference is quite substantial but still they're both going to work and um, so I'm excited about starting the new journal I haven't forgot about tapestry I've been doing slow stitching. Uh, yes, I have. And it is slow and it does not look great. <laughs> but I'm going to hang in there with it. Okay, this time it's for real. I'm going to sign off. And um, I hope you all, as, as usual, take care, stay well, and hugs and kisses until we meet again. Which um, this video should go up um, Tuesday the 30th yes so I think this video should go up Tuesday the 30th if not before and so um, and if you don't know I try to post Tuesdays and Fridays and then anything extra will say extra and it will post on any particular day that I can do it all right all right guys thanks for watching and I'll see you when I see you Bye.